Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West, where we were in the middle of a lore dump with Gaia, which is super dope, so let's get right back into that immediately. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value. She's like my children. Hephaestus <laughs> is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Because it's the machines that she uses, um, like we've seen them, like, right? Like, you get this, the things that, like, they're, like, they're, like, recovering resources bringing them back to the cauldrons but they're the ones that like purify the water purify the air like it's the machines that do all of that so given Hephaestus's importance is there really no way to capture and merge it first it's the final boss well sort of I'm afraid that is quite impossible in my present state launched and merged with Minerva I am operating at less than one fifth 18.8% of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Oh, really? Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. It's like talking about our children. But then how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Three. Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity. That's more manageable to exceeding collect. Exceeding that of Hephaestus. I like trying to get all of them would, like every single one would have been rough, but we can get three. That's manageable in a game. That's like a Triforce level of things to do, you know? You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions, which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. She does have Minerva, which is a big Hephaest or a big um, solution maker. So. Once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? Mm. It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. That's Given the nature bold. of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. They are also human. I must admit, however, yeah. that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. <laughs> yes, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many. I've already messed this up. We're just gonna have to split this into two. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do Cause that? Because they're dicks! At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that. If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. But Gaia wouldn't do that. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. 
to their specifications. Yeah. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. This is a lot for one woman to have to deal with. Honestly. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers. Or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. Oh my gosh. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. That's ridiculous. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. You're a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... How could they have made a clone? They stole the data. The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Well... You're not Elizabeth Sobek. She's not Elizabeth Sobek. You guys are your own people. And brainwashing's a hell of a drug. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target. And the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. Oh my gosh, why, did just, why do people gotta just be evil, you know? Also, I guess part of me is wondering... Oh shoot, what was my question? Oh yeah, if it was intentional to separate the functions from Gaia and keep them intact. Because then maybe it would be easier to use their own backup... Because the, maybe they just assumed a backup of Gaia would be around? Like, if they wanted to take control of the terraforming system, why destroy Gaia in the first place? Or at least, at least attempt to. Or if they knew that she had like backups and stuff that they were planning on getting rid of her... Central processing. Getting the kernel. I'm using it against the. and like reorganizing the old functions. But also, like, this Gaia, all versions of Gaia, don't. doesn't want to cause harm. Like, they don't think they could manipulate her into going against her own function. So that's a little weird. So if the descendants came to Earth on a spaceship. I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yeah, do you remember that fight yes. we had? As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. 
For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. Yeah, but I don't, Gaia, I just don't see this as actually being a thing Gaia can do. Like, fighting against other humans, unless, like, her protection, like, is, like, Earth itself, and this crop of humans, but, uh... How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? Because she's smart. The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. Oh. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. Oh, that doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Oh boy. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Oh, good. Oh, good. And you can't do anything to stop Nature's it. a complicated if system. If you can return Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Okay, Mom. How long do we have, then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. Oh, wow, wow! And if I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months. Oh, that's it. Wow. Well, every bit counts. Oh, wow. This is a lot. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. Hmm. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert. South in the, of the desert. <laughs> My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement oh my gosh. Las Vegas was located there. Of course. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Well. Agreed. As for Demeter, 
It appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Strange places Where for them. Where you begin? Oh, do I have to pick one now? I mean, I'll just go wherever I want. Um, it's actually kind of fitting that Poseidon's in the desert if Poseidon's feeling like paranoid and afraid. Um, maybe doesn't want to engage in its function. You know, it's like afraid of that somehow, so it would go to the desert. Or it wants to try to bring water to the desert. Also, Las Vegas, of all places, is the city, like the number one city in the United States that shouldn't exist because it is a massive drain on the very sparse local resources, specifically water. There's like a whole big thing about it, like how Las Vegas essentially like steals water, I think from the Rio Grande, and like basically just takes water that any other place like down river would use um it's a whole thing i read about it a long time ago but like i haven't read about it recently but it's 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 a city that's poised for destruction <laughs> out of all the cities here like uh it would not do well to any sort of intense global climactic changes involving lack of water i think i'll head for ether then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Can you give me a water breather? Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines yes, I know. offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Yes, I know. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. That's awesome, actually. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Thank you, Kaya. <laughs> well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. She's gonna cry. I unlock the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Barl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> That's you, Aloy? Uh... Yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Oh my gosh, we have little ear cell phones. Oh my gosh. Exit through the west door. Why do I gotta exit through the west door? Oh, if I want to go to the Tanakh territory, I do gotta exit through the west door. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Or I could just... Marl and Zoe are waiting yeet. for me by the west exit. I could just yeet myself. Well, I could the... head back east first. Yeah. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. That's what I was gonna do. That's what I, well, kinda what I wanted to do. Uh, let's check out. Okay. Okay, I see. So this unlocks all of it. Except we could just go up over here too, but you know, it's fine. <gasps> Is that. Is this like part of the cave in that I was at? No. Something else. Oh my gosh, there was quests and stuff in Plain Song that I never got to. Is this a painter? <gasps> I wonder if it is. Yeah, we should go back to Plain Song. 
Oh, dude, and so there's rebel camps and there's rebel outposts. I didn't realize they were different. Rebel camp, okay, yep, and rebel outpost. I only noticed that, I think, in my notebook. What was it? Not the collectibles. Something in, oh yeah, the quests. Rebel camps and rebel outposts. Why are there different ones? I'm going the other way. So there. What's that symbol? Discovered a campfire. What is that? What is that? Is, what? This is Gaia. Why is it why is it all weird about it? Oh. What? Cyclops. Gaia. What is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data Wh to your focus. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? Oh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating oh, biosphere Oh, conditions. good. Oh, good. Nice. Cool, cool. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds, I could get the data oh, from them. Oh, okay. Use it to reconnect them and restore the display. So, theoretically, I would use it to watch my progress at stopping the degradation of the biosphere. But most likely what would happen is I'd get to watch in real time <laughs> as it all goes bye-bye. Um, let me go back. Well, I mean, we might as well just walk out the door and see what happens. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. Hmm? Oh, if he comes you, with, if he comes with me instead of you. I need to head further west to um get more of Gaia's components make her stronger you two can stay here in the meantime and Gaia can help get you up to speed did she change her I'm not trying to shut you out this it's like training actually I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron bring him here oh look allies Friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us. Catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. She took her headdress off. When will off. you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Um, well, I was really hoping my friends would be more involved and come with me. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. <sighs> but instead, I'm all alone. Maybe it's for the best. Is he 
Steve Sands. I'm stoked. I wonder, no. Well, if we go a little past Las Vegas, I, that's, the Grand Canyon's just a little bit east of Las Vegas as far as I know. I'm actually gonna double check. Okay, it's a little further <laughs> than, but maybe we'd still get to see it. That'd be really cool. Because sometimes they, they condense the maps down. Well, they do condense the maps down in this game and in the last game. So that you can kind of get to see some of the cool stuff. But technically, of course, the Grand Canyon's in Arizona. And Las Vegas is in Nevada. I was kind of hoping to do two meters first. Because of, like, you know, the plane song and their issues with, um... Uh... Jeez their issues with like the over planting light stuff but anyway this is exciting I was kind of trying to push for the moment when like my snow is gonna pile up. my friends would come to hang out with me or come to you know be more involved in my quest but it looks like they'll just be kind of hanging out in a base which is still nice that I'll have like access to them but we'll see um Anyway, I'm excited to see where this is going to go from now. Some things have changed. I didn't realize, like, I would have a base. Like, things have changed. My expectations were, um, different in some ways. Like, in, in, it's all good, right? I just, I wasn't expecting a base. That's cool. And I'll probably get to upgrade it, you know? And, like, the collection thing I'm familiar with. Anyway, I don't know. This is cool. I'm excited. I do wish my friends could come with me more, but it's going to be good, so... Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it and for listening to me ramble for some reason. I'm very rambly again. But thank you all again. I really quick I want to say thank you to my patrons. So thank you to all of you, but especially to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special thank you to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really, truly appreciate it. You're the best. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.